Hey guys, welcome back. We're just about to check out the lower region of Windia. Do a little bit of shopping. A little, play a little hide and seek here. Is there anything in this inn? I want to say that there is. Wow. <laughs> That's a good pickup line. This game's got a little bit of suggestive themes in it. <clears throat> What's a Mandalo doing here? <clears throat> that's it. Mm, okay, that's kind of a weird little bit of dialogue just now. Can't check that. <clears throat> Let's see, where else can we go? There's this big cafe area. That's, that's a really snobby thing to say. <clears throat> yeah, so if you couldn't tell, the people here in Windia are all fairly high class, upper class citizen. So kind of just the rich people of Breath of Fire 3. I guess no one's ever, no one knows where Tipo or Riga, Ri is. So that's enough talking to these townsfolk. They don't have anything to say. Let's see if I can pillage people. There we go. Pneumonia, that's nice. You know, let's use one of those. What's this all about? <clears throat> hmm. There was a robber here, and he was a kid. Sounds a lot like Tipo. What is this homeless person doing here? Yep. That's what happens, man. Try to make it in a big city, but it ends up backfiring. Oh, well, alright. I'm done talking to everybody. Now we'll just proceed with what we normally gotta do. And the first thing I'm gonna do is head to this here weapon shop. So... There's something I really want to pick up here, and I can't right now, but it's the Claymore. Now, the Claymore, as you see there, has 43 power. It is, it is 8 weight. If I equip it, my agility will be complete to zero, uh, completely to zero. However, that's going to make my power just skyrocket, so I really want that. And you can't... It's going to be the best sword that you can buy for a very long time. Um... I have various ways of getting it. My way, how I normally do it, I unequip the soul gem and I sell it because it sells for 1500 That's a huge amount of money right now. The soul gem, if I explained once before, what it does is that it, if you die with it on, it'll revive you again. But the fact of the matter is that <clears throat> I don't need something like that right now in the game. You know, I. I, I mean, maybe it can be used later on, I just never thought about it as a very good accessory, so I just get rid of it. And I get enough money to buy the Claymore. So, another thing I'll mention though too is that the broadsword here, that's probably what most of you guys will get in the mace. Don't buy these yet, because you can actually get them a little bit later in the game for a little bit cheaper. So, we're going to be going to a different town really shortly after, and we can get get those items for a lot cheaper. And the same also goes with this this shop, too. That he sells a lot of various equipment uh, for, you know, uh, defense and everything. So things like the ranger gra garb, or the carass, the mage's robes, all this stuff, you can just get it at this other town that we'll be getting at. You'll get it at a discounted price, too. So I would definitely suggest just holding on to your Zenny until then. Um, I think now we can go over to this gang of kids here in a little and, and uh, just proceed with the plot because that's how we do it. I do want to check this place out. Wow! So you can get inoculations at the, the beginning of the game. I didn't know that. So to inoculate, what what this shop is is basically getting uh, 
well, as you guys said, in, in, or as I showed you, in inoculation, and it ups your, as it says here, flame block, frost block, all this block stuff, it ups your, uh, how would you explain this, your ability to take less damage from these types of attacks, as well as death and mind blocks, such as like, if they try to lower your intelligence, and change blocks, such as status changes, so things like that, uh, they, they will, they'll help out as far as uh, status changes in elemental attacks go, so that's kind of cool to, that that comes so early in the game. Talk to this kid here. We're not playing hide and go seek, or hide and seek, whatever it is. So, we have the obligatory mini game to proceed with the story. They hide, we seek. It's just a little bit of a hassle. Well, it's not very hard to find him, it takes like 30 seconds. There's one kid. Well, that's the rules, buddy. You were found first, you were... You got caught. There's one right here next to the bum. And then there's one at the adjacent corner right over here. I don't know why you would hide so close to each other on the same wall like that. And the other one... is up here. Right, try to hide from me. You know, if I was Ryu right now, though, I would be able to see him. I'm, they're, they're lucky I'm a player just viewing from a crappy camera angle. I, he's standing in plain sight. Anyways, I guess they're they get a lot better later in later in the game. They do a hide and seek, uh, and it's around the world, and you have to find them. It's not, it's not a must, it's just, a, it's an optional thing that you gotta do, or you can do. Well, that sounds a lot like Tipo. Somebody trying to rob a house, kid. Alright, well, great, so, I guess that's where we're off to next. So I'm going to say goodbye to this town and head down to the the road that she's talking about. But actually, I think I can do a little bit of exploring beforehand. You can come over here to this little question mark. Nothing, nothing important here except you can just pick up a nice little item. It's right over here. Of course, you got to angle the camera there. And you find a vodka shot. The Vodka Shot casts a spell called Might on you, and it ups your attack by 12%. It's, it's just a buffing move. It's pretty good. However, the, the one thing... You can also go here. The one thing about Vodka Shot is that in the PSP version, it was retranslated to... Let's go down here. It was retranslated to Ginseng. Because I guess they thought that vodka shots and kids didn't really mix. It was kind of weird. A little machine down here. In this guy's hut. The second thing I wanted to do before heading to Eignock Road, wherever it's called, is talk to this guy. Because he doesn't look like it, but he is a master that you can apprentice to. And let me tell you. He's the worst master in the game. He even says here, I can teach you some of the useless trick I know. And we're gonna say yes, because it seems very fitting to me to have a useless master apprenticed to a useless character. So, Nina is going to learn under this master called Durandal. Now... No, I don't want to apprentice under you, you suck. Now... The reason why I'm even apprenticing under him, he gives no status boots, he gives crappy skills, he's just, she's just a bad master. Now, the reason why I'm even doing that, the redeeming factor is the fact that 
by apprenticing under him, after you learned all of his skills, you can get a, a master later on in the game who will ask... He, 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 he like tests you on your pacifist ways or something like that, and he won't become your master unless you know Durandal's skills. So, it's, it's basically his qualification. He said, if you want me to teach you, you have to know Durandal's skills. That's it. So, that's the only reason why I want to level up under Durandal right now, is because of the fact that, well, it's going to give me access to a master later on in the game. One of this Eidnock Road here, there's no tough monsters here. Just these regular guys who we've been fighting since, since the beginning of the game. Nina's weak. Come on, man. She can't kill a gong head. Oh, come At least, at least Ryu's swinging his sword correctly now. He's not waving it around like he used to. Woohoo, zero damage. He's doing a lot of damage with that. The Claymore now. Nice. So, let's see, can we even go down? We can. I've never done this before, I've always just... Oh. So, the game forces you to go into that house, that's stupid. I've never tried... I've never tried uh, just coming over there and trying to leave this place, but basically, when you go into the house... Well, you'll see what happens. We run into some un unexpected company, let's just say that. So we hear a Nina scream, see two old folks. We pillage their clothing. We're gonna take that. Where the hell is Nina? She just screamed. And this is what happens when you go into the house. Run into Balio and Sunder again. Good old horse brothers. Suppose he's right. What are you gonna do to me, huh? You can't kill me, I'm a freaking dragon. animation to that was kind of funny to me. So they capture us once again, and they take us to this other town, Genmel. And I don't know why it's called Genmel, because the world map calls this place the arena. But as you can see here from the town folk, it's a lot different of a place compared to Windia. Falls Pub. So that's where we are. So, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up here. We're here at Falls Pub, captured again. Well, we'll have to see how we can get out of this situation. But until next time, I think that's gonna be it. And we're in a, we're in a bar. That's very suggestive, right? Like, vodka shot, we just picked up a vodka shot, now we're in a bar, and we just get this dialogue, keep your hands off the bottle. Okay. Anyways, gonna stop it right here, and I'll get back to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.